Uh, so my name is Harold Khaled. I'm the uh, co-founder of Alchemy. And um, so the opportunity we're working on is uh, enterprise automation. Um, probably uh, anyone who's worked in a big company has experienced uh, you know, the manual workflows that people are doing on documents. Um, it's a surprising amount of documents that people generate. About 30% of enterprise data is documents. Uh, and these workflows, uh, particularly in financial services, are really important. Uh, there are entire markets that run on documents, fixed income markets, lending, um, you know, derivatives markets. These are trillion dollar markets where the parties come together, negotiate all the details of the transaction, all the customer data is stuck in the documents. And of course, that has the regulators worried, uh, just like we know from the 2008 uh, financial crisis. So if you look at what does this specifically mean, it means that there are lots of people that look at documents, that try to read them, uh, copy key information, and then copy it into a spreadsheet, into a work document, or into an application. And of course, uh, you know, if this was easy to solve, it would have been solved already. Maybe robotic process automation uh, has you know, had uh, taken a bite out of some of this. But really the key point here is human comprehension. Trying to understand and find the right information uh, is the mission that we're on. So what we're focusing on is automating tasks and documents that require human comprehension. Uh, and that can, we believe, open up a tremendous amount of automation benefits to enterprises. And to do this, we have a very New York team. Um, I have a background at Bloomberg. Uh, Adam came from X.AI uh, and Alex from two uh, New York startups. Alex is here today. Uh, and I'm happy to report that we actually met uh, at the data-driven event. So uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, exactly, by the bar, that's right. Or maybe the pizza. Um, so uh, how do we do this? So let me talk to you about that. Um, well, the first step, we do, we do two things. First of all, we use computer vision on the documents. That means that we segment up all the documents the paragraphs, the tables, the charts, info boxes, uh, which helps us a lot. Now, uh, what does that, you know, what, how does that help us? Uh, it means that we understand the context. And oftentimes, documents, of course, are created uh, by humans to highlight information that's important. Uh, and we've taken a, a page out of the self-driving car book here, uh, essentially placing boundary boxes over all the different elements before we do any NLP uh, to actually achieve automation. The next thing we do, of course, with the benefit now of knowing the context of the information we're getting is NLP. So that means that we can, using the layout, make much better NLP predictions on the data that we're extracting from the documents. And we've also built into the Alchemy platform different pre-trained industry taxonomies uh, and industry-specific entity resolution. For those of you who work in financial services, of course, know that it's an industry that runs on data, and it's important to know exactly what the data is you're working on so that you can actually automate a process. And one of the things we're very excited about is that our approach also enables extractive summarization, which means that we can help people compose a document much faster, which often is the workflow, is you receive some documents, you get some information, and you then compose an output. How do we do it? Well, we do it by creating a tool that allows us to surface the documents to users. So if they have additional information they're looking for, just like they would in their manual workflow, they can move it into our software, label the things they're looking for, and underneath it, we enable much faster labeling with active learning uh, for any lower, um, prediction, lower confidence predictions. We can pass it to a human, so the design has a human in the loop. And finally, because we take a visual approach, we can trace all predictions from our platform back to the exact point in the underlying data that we got it. So if it's a footnote on page 42 of a document, we can point the, to the back to the underlying data and provide that traceability that everyone's looking for. So that was a little bit about us. Uh, we're based at uh, Workbench in Union Square. We'd love to talk to data scientists, full stack engineers. Uh, and uh, if you have an excitement about uh, this space, come talk to me or to Alex uh, after this. One question over there. Thank you. Uh, so my question is, is kind of maybe around how can you, or how do you think about um, the complexity of, of various documents and the context that you're trying to gain from them, like with these boxes, um, with respect to how you train uh, based on these documents, so you can imagine a workflow in which 
there's many different inputs. They're all kind of getting at the same thing. But you know, you have a hundred different clients sending you, right, like uh, a document a hundred different ways, and you're trying to extract the same information. So how many, you know, uh, what's a rough order of magnitude on what you'd have to train? Because somehow you'd have to get these hundreds of documents many, many times. So right now we do improve our concepts with, with larger banks, and I guess one of the benefits is that we, we do get a substantial amount of data uh, for each of these workflows. Uh, it's hard to give, depending on the task, the exact amount of data. It helps if you have thousands of examples. Uh, you know, one of the benefits uh, that, that we have of providing pre-trained models is that we can target it more on the domain that we're working on, financial services, so we don't have to, um, I guess, spend as much time and have as many examples. Uh, so the goal for us is to compress this automation time for us to get the data and to begin automating the task. Um, the additional benefit of working in financial services is because the data is so important, there's already a manual task, and so oftentimes you start with uh, potentially training data from the existing manual task. Uh, so that's another way of, of accelerating that task for a client. All right, I guess we, yeah, we need to stick to the new format. That, that was uh, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Great. Great. Thanks,